vibration of the asking or the question and the vibration of the answer or the solution are different frequencies so you ask from one frequency but if you stay in the asking mode you hold what you're asking for away because you're asking for it from a place of not having it that's what your impression is that's what your experience is that's that's where you're standing and so you ask and let it go ask and and consider it having been asked and then and then chill out because you only have to this is hard for humans to hear you don't have to keep asking that's we heard you that's where I keep we heard you uh. we lined up everything possible for you mm -hmm. and when you keep asking you just keep holding yourself apart from the answer or the solution that you're reaching for so can I walk away from it emotionally for a little bit and do something else I'm afraid this is oh, yeah. I know you just said it, but I'm afraid to let go of it because then it won't stay in momentum if, I'm afraid if I stop the well, then, concentration then, then you missed on this part yeah that you ask it's in this vibrational reality and sources tending to it and it will remain there until you allow it in and for most people it remains there long after you ha never allow it in it remains there for you it remains there for you people say I, f I fear that and fear is that emotion of resistance I fear that I will get to the dock and my ship will have already sailed and I will have missed it and we say there's another and another and another and another and another and another there's there's a never-ending stream of ideas that will flow to you just waiting for one to hit you at the right moment which means at the right vibrational emotional place it's not going anywhere so if I let it go and relax and let it happen it's still gonna happen I don't have to only if you relax and let it go will it happen not if <laughs> only only because you can't stand in in worry about something and let it in there it, it, every subject is two subjects wanted and absence of it and you can tell by the way you feel which end of the stick your vibration is about right now so you use words like fear or worry fear or worry means you're on the end of the stick where you're holding it off and it's sort of a perpetual cycle because you fear it won't come so it, and then it doesn't come and then you fear it won't it'll keep not coming and then it keeps not coming and then you fear but you, you don't have to stand still and do nothing get preoccupied with what is working tell that story over and over and over and over again you see because you cannot appreciate and worry at the same time you can't love and worry at the same time you can't positively anticipate and negatively anticipate at the same time so one or the other so we're not asking you to just withdraw and crawl under a rock although in many cases it would be helpful the way it works is contrast causes you to clarify and ask for something that you're not living so there is this gap between what you want and where you are that you have to deal with by chilling out so as you chill out and think about what it will be like rather than like what it is and anticipate rather than worry you close that vibrational gap and now there's no gap between what you're asking for and what you're doing vibrationally and now that means your point of attraction is right in keeping with your vortex and it flows right into your experience ideas come manifestations happen so now you're living what you were formerly wanting to live now you're living it but along with the receiving of that full-blown manifestation you also received a new set of contrasting experiences that cause you to launch another desire that you're not a match to there's a gap between what you've just asked for and what you currently perceive so you've got some work to do some imagining some chilling some not fussing some chilling so you close that gap again and now what you're asking for and your vibrational frequency are in the same place and so it flows into your experience and now you are the manifested version of what was something that you were asking for and along with that full-blown manifestation comes another set of contrasting experiences which causes you to ask yet for more the work never stops but the worry can stop because after a while you can say hey I get how this works life shows me things that I didn't know I want that I now know that I do want 
and I'm not a vibrational match to it because I've never had it before and I'm used to only offering vibration based upon I have what I have I usually offer most of my vibration is true of most people based upon what I'm observing now I have to conjure and imagine and and appreciate I have to focus more deliberately but I'm getting better and better and better at it and so as you focus more deliberately you close the gap more easily but you will never be gapless you will always be reaching beyond where you now are that is a promise it is a necessity of the eternal nature of that which we all are there can't be more and perfection and completion all at the same time and there is always more always more always more always more how can I be standing without the fullness of everything that I want and not mess up my vibration by my awareness of the absence of something that I want we say by remembering all of the presence of things that you do want and by acknowledging I am the creator of my own reality and law of attraction is fair always and I have the ability to focus and the whole point of all of it anyway is for the way you feel and isn't it delicious to feel anticipation yeah. don't you love the feeling of anticipation have you ever anticipated something and then it happened and then the next day you're sort of bored <laughs> <laughs> because the anticipation was really sweet wasn't it the anticipation and you can keep yourself in a state of chronic anticipation you know what the mantra of the universe is now what yeah. now what now what oh that was good now what oh this is good now what what more what more you know why because we're in your head saying now what now what now what now what we're eternal we're eternal beings now what now what oh when the possibilities are feel unlimited within you now what is so sweet when they don't it's oh now